Good day to all home learning partners, teachers, and mandunong learners. Welcome to Project eDream, Division Remediation and Enhancement of Aptitude in Mathematics. I'm Teacher Claire, your math buddy for today's lesson. Good day, Grade 6 learners! Join me as we study Finding the Missing Term in a Proportion for Quarter 2, Week 2. Our objective, find the missing term in a proportion, direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. What is a proportion? It is a statement of equality between two ratios or fractions. Example, A is to B equals C is to D. Its part in a proportion is a term. The first term, second term, third term, and fourth term. First and fourth term are the extremes, while second and third term are the means. In a proportion, the product of the means equals to the product of the extremes. Let us have the method 1. 3 is to 4 equals 6 is to 8. Let us multiply the extremes. 3 times 8 equals 24. Then multiply the means. 4 times 6 equals 24. 24 equals 24. The product of the means equals to the product of the extremes. Therefore, the ratios are proportion. Now, let's have the method 2. 3 fourths equals 6 eighths. Let's have the cross multiplication. 3 times 8 equals 24. 4 times 6 equals 24. 24 equals 24. The cross product are equal. Therefore, the ratios are proportion. Let's have another example. 2 is to 5 equals 4 is to n. This time, in the given example, one term is missing. We can solve it either by using multiplying the extremes and the means or by cross-multiplication. Let us first do the method 1, which is multiplying the extremes and the means. 2 is to 5 equals 4 is to n. Let us multiply the extremes. 2 times n equals 2n. Let us multiply the means. 5 times 4 equals 20. 2n equals 20. In order to get the value of n, we will divide both sides by its numerical coefficient, which is 2. 2n divided by 2 equals n. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. n equals 10. Now, let's have the method 2, which is cross-multiplication. 2 fifth equals 4 over n. Let us cross-multiply. 2 times n equals 2n. 5 times 4 equals 20. 2n equals 20. Let us divide both sides by 2. 2n divided by 2 equals n. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. There are three types of proportion. Direct proportion, inverse proportion, and partitive proportion. What is a direct proportion? It is a relationship between two quantities that increase or decrease in the same ratio. Examples, the number of hours you work and the amount of your salary, the speed of a car and the distance traveled in a certain amount of time, work done to the number of workers. One dozen eggs cost 72 pesos. How much will 8 eggs cost? One dozen equals 12 eggs. This problem suggests that the decrease in the number of eggs will result to the decrease in its amount or cost. If we will decrease the number of eggs from 12 eggs to 8 eggs, its cost will decrease. According to the direct proportion, as one quantity decreases, the other quantity decreases. So, this problem involves direct proportion. We will have the proportion 12 eggs 
is to 72 pesos equals 8x is to n or 12 is to 72 equals 8 is to n. Now let's find the missing term. 12 is to 72 equals 8 is to n. Let's have the method 1. 12 is to 72 equals 8 is to n. Multiply the extremes. 12 times n equals 12n. Multiply the means. 72 times 8 equals 576. 12n equals 576. 12n divided by 12 equals n. 576 divided by 12 equals 48. n equals 48. Let's have the method 2. 12 over 72 equals 8 over n. Let us cross multiply. 12 times n equals 12n. 72 times 8 equals 576. 12n divided by 12 equals n. 576 divided by 12 equals 48. Therefore, 8 eggs cost 48 pesos. Now, let's have inverse proportion. If one quantity increases as the other quantity decreases at the same rate and vice versa. Examples, speed and time in traveling. Workers who works a certain job to finish in a given days. Ten men can paint the second floor of a building in three days. How long would it take six men to do the same work? The problem implies that the decrease in the number of men would mean in the increase of the number of days they can paint the second floor of a building. This proportion is an inverse proportion. In this problem, we are looking for the number of days six men would take to do the same work. The given facts are 10 men, 3 days, and 6 men. Let us write the proportion using the given facts. 3 men in 3 days, 6 men in n days. We will follow this formula. Original given over new given equals new given over original given. Take note of two, two quantities being compared in the proportion. Men as the first quantity and days as the second quantity. We will decide where, where we will put its quantity. We will put men on the left side and days on the right side. Now let us substitute the given to the formula. We have 10 over 6 equals n over 3. Let's find the missing term in the inverse proportion. 10 over 6 equals n over 3. Let us cross multiply. 10 times 3 equals 30. 6 times n equals 6n. 30 equals 6n. Let us divide both sides by the numerical coefficient which is 6. 6n divided by 6 equals n. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. n equals 5. Answer, 6 men can paint the floor in 5 days. Now let's have the third type, which is partitive proportion. A whole is divided into parts that are proportional to the given ratio. Example, there are 35 pupils in the class. The ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 3. There are 35 pupils in the class. The ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 3. How many boys are there? The problem is a partitive proportion since a whole is divided into parts that are proportional to the given ratio. Here is how we can solve the problem. First, add the given ratio. Our ratio is 4 is to 3. So, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Next, use the sum to divide the whole. The whole is 35 pupils. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. Third, use the quotient as multiplier to the given ratio. The quotient is 5, so 5 times 4 equals 20. 20 are the boys and 5 times 3 equals 15. 15 are the girls. So, n equals 20. There are 20 boys in the class.
This time, let us solve the following problems. Number 1, the ratio of two numbers is 2 is to 3. If the smaller number is 10, what is the larger number? Okay, the answer is... The larger number is 15. Problem number 2. Six pupils take three minutes to arrange the books in the shelf. How long will it take two pupils to do it? Okay. The answer is, two pupils take nine minutes to do it. Let us have problem number three. Kendra has a ribbon which is 40 meters long. She divided it in the ratio of five is to three. What is the length of The answer is, the longer part is 25 meters. Very good class. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Teacher Claire saying, Matsayang mag-aral, tayo ng matuto. Paalam!